while technological advances, digital innovations, and transformational electronic monitoring flourish during the pandemic, the human capital nurses suffer tremendous physical, mental anguish, and moral distress. We know that, and a lot of work is done in that space. With that said, it is always good to take a pause and appreciate what we have every day. So tonight, we are here to celebrate the recipients of different meaningful awards, but more importantly, we are here to celebrate you and your loved ones and friends. Tonight is our annual Outstanding Filipino Nurse and Scholarship Awards and Christmas event. Welcome. My name is Mila Sprouse, your humble co-host for this exciting event. And now, I would like to introduce to you my distinguished co-host, Dr. Jonathan Jacob. Good evening to all of you. It's so great to be wearing my pants tonight. Uh, I always go for skiing without my pants, so this is my first time wearing it. It's, it's so nice to see you on your evening gowns, and then looking so distinguished. I showered tonight, so you can... Uh, that's why Mila is at least uh, so close to me, less than six feet away, right? Uh, okay, so... Oh, good. Okay. There we go. So let's start with our, oh, this is our picture, just in case you can do find us somewhere. This is me on the left and Mila is on the right. So just in case if you see us around here, uh, just look at our faces, right? Uh, we're not in Zoom meeting. So all of us should have uh, a QR code, which Gina is passing around. There you go, she's passing around this QR code. I know you have your phones with you, right? Uh, each of your phone has a camera on it and it will guide you towards our uh, program. Okay, so just scan those QR codes that they're passing around and then it will take you to our program proper. Okay, um, it seems that the QR code got locked uh, in the shuffle of things. Uh, another announcement, the table arrangement in the middle of your tables are for sale. This is a Christmas fundraising of our group, BNAMH, the foundation, and also North Houston. So just pick those putieta if you want them to take home. And there's more outside. You can check it with the registration desk, or you can sell it. Uh, I think there's a QR code also where you can um, deposit the money. Uh, if it is not to them, I can give you my QR code for my cell account or Venmo, and you can sell it to me. Okay, thank you. Okay, other stuff. Oh, okay, so next. Next, on our program. So, let's, to give us our uh, welcome meetings, our very own president, um, Arlita Pan, the current president of Philippine Nurses Association of Metro Houston, for our welcome and greetings. Don't have it. No, we don't have one in our table. I guess we need one. Either. Good evening, everyone. Tonight is an unprecedented, monumental night. For the first time, three organizations, PNA Metro Houston, PNA North Houston, and PNA Metro Houston Foundation, led by President Cleo Robinette and also by Myra Ubas. Will you please stand up? We have collaborated to produce this amazing night of many sparks, a Christmas in Nursing Excellence celebration. We are almost two years from the start of COVID-19. 
that globally claimed millions of lives and loss of livelihoods, depleted economy, impacted health and safety, thus changing and adapting new normalcy into our lives. Nurses found themselves on the front line in the battle against COVID-19, with over 600 nurses died globally. Filipino nurses are just 4% of the national nursing workforce. But 30%, that's 30%, died from it. Thank you to the frontline heroes for helping and risking your own lives, as well as your families, while making a difference in saving others. Behind every collaboration is a story, right? So PNA, PNAMH was scheduled to host the 16th, oh, sorry, the 18th South Central Region Conference in November 2020. This hotel was contracted as our venue. However, pandemic forced us. Pandemic forced us to host virtually. Left with 5,000 deposit, an idea came to mind. What could be better than collaborate with BNA North Houston and BNA TGT? And I would like to introduce briefly Bebut Miranda, who is the president of TGT in Beaumont. These two BNA chapters are located within and outside of Greater Houston. That was the beginning of a great ending. However, due to a schedule conflict, Beaumont was out and PNAMH Foundation was in. Achieving effective collaboration is not always easy. After all, no two organizations are alike. However, getting here is a dream come true and a testimony of an effective collaboration that would possibly be celebrated year after year. Collaboration glued us to, the, to achieve our goal, led us to more innovative processes, shared our ideas and efforts, utilized our skills, and enhanced our understanding. As Paul Solars said, collaboration allows us to know more than we are capable of knowing by ourselves. My sincere congratulations to all the awardees of nursing excellence and scholarships. You are our honor and pride. Thank you for your amazing contributions and performance in your work, profession, communities, professional advancement, and most of all, your sacrifices during this pandemic. To all our PNA members, PNAA leaders, honored guests, families, friends, and supporters, welcome and thank you. This gala would not have been possible without all your commitment and efforts. Thank you for joining us tonight. May God bless America, the Philippines, and all of us. Let us all enjoy the evening. Mabuha. Sa dagat at bundok 
sa sibuy at sa langit mong bukhaw, may dilagang tula at awit sa paglayang minamahal, ang kislap ng watawag mo'y tagumpay na nagninig, ang bituin at araw niyang kailan, pag may di magdidilim, lupa ng Most gracious God, we come to you today seeking your blessing upon our community and all those who are assembled here. We pray for your blessing upon all members of the Filipino Nurses Association in Houston, Texas. Give us inspiration to meet the needs of the future. Give us wisdom to know your will and the courage to perform our duties. Continue to pour your abundant blessings to our nations, to all the leaders of our country, and to all Filipinos who live in this land, that in the midst of the social and economic turmoil resulting from the COVID-19 pandemic, may we all continue to be faithful to your will with a spirit of trust and abandonment, knowing that you will never forsake us. 
Restore and give lasting peace to our country. Grant us a peaceful coexistence among ourselves and keep us safe from all danger and harm. Elevate the sufferings of all our sick brothers and sisters to the kindness and generosity of our nurses. Protect and reward all nurses who are selflessly helping the sick and the needy during this time of pandemic. Make them an instrument of your love and healing and be with them, protecting them as they carry out their duties. Bless them with the wisdom of your Holy Spirit and fill them with the compassion that would allow them to put the needs of those deserved before all else. In the midst of this highly technological and opening personal age, let them not forget that nursing is fundamentally about being with people in need. It is about touch, a listening presence, a willing and compassionate heart that sits behind symptoms and signs of illness to a person in need and to their community of concern. Help them to embrace the charism that is nursing, to make it their own, and in so doing, to bring your healing presence into the lives of people in need. And now, accept our thanks for the blessing we have received, for the food we are about to enjoy, and send us forth from here as ambassadors for your kingdom. This we pray in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, God now and forever. Amen. Amen. Take our seats. Okay. May we ask uh, Melba Perdido, our MA and MH president for 1988-1990, to lead the Florence Franklin Love Pledge. And we're asking all of our nurses to stand up once again. I know we know how to do a 12-hour shift, right? With an extended four hours just in case we're needed. So we can stand the whole night. Okay, so for the Florence Franklin Love Pledge. Here we go, uh, Melba Perdido, our PNAMH. Is that enough? You don't want to. Nurses, are you all ready? Yes. You're solemnly pledged myself to God, and in the presence of this assembly, to pass my life in purity and to practice my profession of the faith. I will abstain from whatever is deleterious in this church, and I will not take or wrongly administer any harm of God. I will do all in my power to maintain and eliminate the standard of my profession. I will hold in confidence all personal matters committed to my keeping and all family affairs coming to my knowledge for the practice of my calling. With loyalty will I endeavor to aid the physician in his work and devote myself to the welfare of those committed to my care. Thank you.
She is passionate in her role as a leader, change agent, educator.